Yo guys, what's good? So basically I got my Xbox One X all taken apart. Not all the way, but just basically to the point where you could reach the hard drive. And uh, after I do what I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm going to basically take out the rest. Take out the heatsink, the fan, optical drive, and the power supply. And basically change out the thermal paste on the Xbox One X, which tends to dry up even when they're brand new. Like they use a really low quality uh, uh, thermal paste solution and basically it's just not very su sufficient. I'm going to replace it with thermal grizzly cryonet. So basically uh, I got the original Xbox One X hard drive which is a Seagate 5400 RPO drive here and I got it hooked up to my PC very crudely <laughs> from the back of the PC so obviously that's where all the wires are. And I got a Samsung 860 EVO 1TB SSD which I'm cloning with a special program that basically runs a script that copies all the uh, Xbox uh, One file system files, including your games, your settings, everything basically. And it clones it onto the SSD. And basically it's a script that's basically very straightforward. It basically walks you through it. Uh, I will put a link to the video that basically describes how to use it, but it's a little bit different than what some of you may be used to. But once you learn it, it's very simple. I've done this process many times on several different Xbox One Xs. And once you've done it, once, it gets pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So after this is done cloning, uh, basically, you're going to want to disconnect the original Xbox One X hard drive and then just have the SSD hooked up. And then you're basically going to apply something called a uh, setting of the GUID values, which basically assigns the drive letters to uh, the new drive, which lets the Xbox One X read it. So as this goes, I'm going to let it copy. And then after that, I will show you... Uh, me changing the thermal paste and then basically the rest of the board uh when it's all taken apart and uh we'll go on from there so see you guys soon and uh we'll let this process finish which takes a while and then uh, we'll go on from there peace out so the script is complete finally it took probably about i want to say one hour so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, want to shut down the computer disconnect the original uh seagate hard drive which is that top one and then repower on the computer with the ssd hooked up I rebooted into uh, Windows 10 and I got the SSD hooked up. I got the script running and then I typed in this command and uh, basically I'm going to hit enter. I'm doing this with only one free hand. So basically uh, you're going to want to open the disk manager to see which uh, disk is the copied Xbox drive, which would be uh, disk zero. And then so if you see these drive ledgers, they look a little odd the way they are because that they, they don't have the proper GUI, GUID values. So what I got to do is go into the script. Let me uh, change the size of this. <clears throat> Press the D key to continue. And then you want to choose uh, C, fix GUID, GUID values without formatting the disk. So I'm going to put C, hit enter. And then the target drive is disk zero. So I'm going to hit zero, enter. And then basically, um, you're going to want to choose a uh, B. It's a one terabyte drive, so standard. So I'm going to hit B. Basically, it's going to kind of like reset the drive things to basically allow them to change the drive letters in Windows. So basically, I don't know what it does. Maybe it deactivates or takes the drive offline. So you're going to wait 30 seconds. And then the script uh, does everything it needs to do. Script complete. You push uh, any key to continue. And that's it. I basically successfully cloned and uh, copied the original drive, and then I applied the GUID, GUID values. And then let's go ahead and close the script, and let's go back to uh, uh, now the drive, which is also still the zero, uh, looks about how it should be on the Xbox One X. So now I'm going to shut down the computer, and then I'm going to uh, reinstall the hard drive into the Xbox One X. But of course, I'm going to do that after um, I change the thermal paste on the Xbox One X. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Sunday, December 22nd, and I bring to you another one of my projects. Those of you who know, I'm into computers and tech uh, gadget stuff, taking things apart, whether they be phones or uh, gaming consoles. And so today, I bring to you my Xbox One X, all the way uh, taken apart, all the way down to the board. So here is the APU for the Xbox One X. It's a uh, basically a GPU and CPU put together. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the thermal paste that is on the uh, Xbox One X uh, from the factory tends to dry up and flake off, and it causes the CPU, all APU, I guess you want to say, 
the heat sink uh, slash fan to uh, ramp up speed, making the Xbox One X uh, seem a little bit louder. So I'm going to be replacing uh, the thermal paste with CryoNet, uh, thermal grossly CryoNet, which is like the greatest, uh, one of the best uh, CPU thermal places to use on computers, some of these in Xbox One X. And so here's the heat sink. Um, it is all copper based. And I know I always get this comment in people's videos when they say Xbox One is take, taken apart. They say, oh, I thought the Xbox One X is water cooled. But no, it's not water cooled. But this inside this block is a uh, liquid that is uh, that runs, I believe, through heat pipes. And basically, when it is heated up, it is moved around in between the, the fins and heat pipes. And that basically is cooled by the fan. And so, uh, no, it's not necessarily water cooled like a computer or even my computer is. But uh, it basically is a, a hybrid, if you want to say, uh, water cooled uh, system that's enclosed. But it's basically just heat pipes uh, that throw out some liquid. So I basically took this all apart. I'm going to uh, replace the thermal paste. I also um, made a copy of the original Xbox One X uh, hard drive. And I'm going to basically, sh I'm not going to show you the process because it's a long process. But I'll show you the link to the video that shows you how to uh, clone the drive. And I'm going to replace the drive with the uh, Samsung EO. Uh, one terabyte uh, 860 EVO uh, SSD, which is pretty much the, one of the best ones to use for the console at this moment. And so basically I'm going to add the thermal paste and then put the heat sink back on and uh, basically put everything back together and then uh, I will show you how fast the, uh, the boot up process is and loading games and stuff. So until then I will be working on putting this all back together and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Oh, and those of you who are curious, there is a uh, uh, Master Chief riding a scorpion on the motherboard of the uh, Xbox One X. So yeah, that's the current project. So I'll see you guys soon when I get everything put back, put back together. Hey guys, I just want to mention one pro tip. Uh, when you are removing the um, heat sink of the um, Xbox One X, um, I do want to tell you when you do have it still in the case of the Xbox One X, you do have to remove the motherboard. And the reason being is uh, there's an X clamp here that you have to uh, remove before you can remove the heat sink. I just wanted to mention that because I didn't know the first time I took apart one of these. This is probably the third one I've taken apart. But uh, to remove these uh, clips, you need to use a very small flat screwdriver and you want to stick the screwdriver in between that little uh, spot there towards the end of the top. And then you take one clamp off at a time and then you can remove the heat sink. I just wanted to mention that uh, for those of you who uh, didn't know that. So, uh, And I used a very small uh, tip screwdriver. I can't even focus, it's so small. But, uh, yeah, so just wanted to tell you that in case uh, you guys didn't know that you do have to remove the motherboard from the actual case if you do want to remove this heat sink, uh, which I just reapplied after uh, putting the thermal grossly cry on that. But I just want to mention that, just a little pro tip. All right, so back to it, back to putting everything back together. Another quick pro tip uh, when you are reconnecting the power supply for the Xbox One X, you do want to make sure that the holes are lined up for the. Uh, plug for the power supply and to do this you're going to want to uh, hook in this connector down there there's two little uh, round tabs that match into a hole and you want to basically line those up before you uh, reconnect the power supply just a quick power pro tip and then once you do hook up the cable you do want to make sure you line it up into the slot here of the uh, uh, fan for the Xbox One X and then make sure you plug in the power connector for the fan and then basically this power supply is kind of clip into those two holes and these little uh, uh, ports there match into those holes there on the motherboard. And then basic, basically this will glue back on there just uh, with a naturally uh, settling uh, tape there. Okay guys, moment of truth. So I got the Xbox One X uh, not all the way put back together and I definitely don't re recommend uh, putting all the screws back in and sealing everything. You basically just want to put the bottom uh, cage on it and then hook up this uh, Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi adapter cable. And then uh, you're basically going to power it on to make sure it works. And you want to definitely do this before reassembling everything and hooking up the hard drive caddy. Because if there is a problem and it doesn't boot, or you made a mistake, or you forgot to do something, then you're going to want to have to re <laughs> take everything back apart, which you don't want to do. So here we go. Let's turn it on from the controller. Hopefully she starts up. Yes, she does. Let's get the stopwatch going. And let's see how long the boot time is.
so far so good. If it boots up like that, shows the intro uh, screen with the 4K for the Xbox One X, then that's a good sign. So, okay, we booted it in, logged in, and then let's uh, check to see if my games are here. So, uh, let's go down. Again, I'm using one hand, so let's go to games. Okay, so we got it. That Forza Horizon 4, Need for Speed Heat, Doom, and Battlefield 5. So I think we're all good to go. And then I, have, I don't know if I have right to show the, the timer, but we basically got into uh, the Xbox dashboard. I think it was around 40 seconds, I think. So, yeah, not bad. So now, basically, I'm going to... Put light on real quick. Now I'm going to reassemble everything, hook up the hard drive caddy, get all these screws back in. And then uh, you definitely want to save the original drive in case you ever need to use it as a, you know, if you ever want to basically sell the console or maybe you need to make another clone of your drive, uh, you could either use this or you could use the SSD, which would be even bit faster. So I'm going to basically put everything back together and then I'll show you the process. So thanks for watching. Lee's WX signing out and uh, stay tuned for some card content soon. Thanks for watching and enjoy uh, the rest of your Sunday. Peace out. That should look like this when you're done. This uh, basically is a strip of uh, the power supply that basically uh, will settle back into place once you put it back there. And that's where you should be next. I took the Samsung Evo 860 um, and basically mounted it onto the uh, tray for the hard drive. And then next you're going to be adding these uh, four screws uh, to these holes right here. Then once you do that, it should look like this. And make sure you hook up the uh, cables, uh, the SATA connector and the power connector for the uh, now uh, Samsung SSD, which was originally the Seagate hard drive. So next we're going to install the uh, optical drive. Just carefully hook up the uh, SATA connector and power connector. And then you could basically, once it's all basically hooked up, you're going to want to line this uh, tab here with that hole. And then there. That's... Uh, the next step. And then next you're going to want to add these screws that I'm going to be showing which hold uh, the motherboard in place and also uh, just various other components like the fan and stuff so just make sure you tighten those up and then the remaining holes are going to be for the longer uh, screws which are going to be for the case and then we also still got to add the, uh, the I think that's the Wi-Fi slash uh, wireless uh, board uh, for the controller to sync up and stuff. And then, of course, we still got the cage to, to uh, put the cage on. And there's basically two screws that hold on this uh, portion of the cage. There's one larger screw, which goes right there. And then there's one smaller one, as you can see, which goes right here. So you're going to want to tighten those down, and then that's the next step. And you might as well also take the uh, four uh, Torx screws for the hard drive to be held in place. Uh, they go right in these four holes right there. And you want, might want to use a flashlight to line up uh, these holes because the hard drive is kind of like loose in there. So you want to use a flashlight to line up uh, each uh, Torx uh, screw one at a time to uh, properly tighten those uh, without having issues. So that would be helpful. So we have this piece and this is, I'm not sure what board this is, but it's a Microsoft board. And, you're, and if you have the console, uh, this orientation with the X uh, clamps, uh, stamp there on this top side you're going to want to put the board in this orientation with microsoft facing uh upwards and then uh, this black screw being in the far right and then this uh board is going to hook up to that connector there and then just uh, <clears throat> uh just torque down the screws okay then the next step is this wi-fi board and then you're going to want it to be orientated with microsoft facing upwards if you got the again the console facing with the x clamp stamp uh, upwards and then there's going to be two gold screws that go right there and then there's one screw that's going to be sticking out farther uh, that goes in there and then I think this is the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth slash uh, just basically connection board for uh, the Wi-Fi and then you're going to also want to hook up a cable that's going to be uh, on the uh, shell of the Xbox One X uh, case. Okay so now again we have the Xbox uh, case with the X clamps uh, stamp facing upwards and then basically now we're going to take this bottom board which has the USB and also this uh, uh, syncing um, cable, uh, syncing cable that basically is going to plug into uh, this port here, which you want to be very careful of when you're hooking up and opening uh, the connector. So we'll get to that next step uh, next. This is the cable that hooks up to this little tab here, and I went, I just very carefully uh, hooked up the tab, and then you 
close it to lock it in place. So you have the uh, that portion of the case connected. Just gonna take this uh, tab, match it along with the holes here. And then you're gonna take these two small screws with the blue uh, thread, thread lock and then hook up those to this uh, area here. All right, all we have left now is to do is to add the six uh, long uh, Torx bolts, which I have oriented exactly where they go through this case. Uh, and then uh, then we'll get on the, I guess this is the hardest part is getting on that top shell, the Xbox One X. It just takes some really finicky uh, maneuvering to get the thing on there, but hopefully I can get it on there. But I just want to give you guys a warning. That's probably the hardest part in putting it back together is to get that case back on there. These are the six bolts. This is where they go. Um, I have them kind of sticking up to show you. Just in case you guys are watching this video uh, backwards to see which uh, screws help uh, remove the uh, bottom portion of the case. Okay, I'm going to torque those down, and then next we'll have the, the top show. Okay, in the grand finale, this is the hardest part about putting back together Xbox One X is basically lining up all these tabs uh, with these. And just my only pro tip, I'm not going to show myself film, filming uh, putting this back together because it's probably going to be the longest part because it's such a hard to explain and basically difficult thing to do. But my only pro tip is to, when you are hooking, hooking it back up this case, you're going to want to hook up the left side first and then you could uh, match up the right side. So I'm going to basically try. I don't know how long this is going to take me, but I'm going to do my best. But you want to hook up the left side portion first, and then you can match up the right side, and then hopefully close it up. And then all you have left are these two uh, original black Torx screws to uh, close her up. But I wasn't going to film myself putting this back together. That's at least the top portion of the case. It's such a pain, but I still don't have it. It's like, I don't even take what I said about putting the left side first, because it is just such a pain to match this uh on there but i'm still getting it but once i get it i'll uh film the complete project go working out so here's a problem you'll get one side perfectly matched up and then it's the other side that you're gonna have this issue where everything is basically not up up so i've seriously spent a good 15 minutes on it i'm gonna keep working and uh i'm not gonna stop until i get it but i uh, just wanted to tell you this is the hardest part it's getting all these tabs lined up to close up the case. This is probably the longest part of reassembling the Xbox One X. Finally got it guys. Man, I probably spent a good 30 minutes getting this top portion of the case back on. But I got it. Torqued down the two bottom bolts and now I'm gonna hook up the Xbox One X, plug it in and see how fast it boots up with the um <clears throat> SSD.